Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So I've just been to Costa, which reminded me a little bit of doing the last video. So I'm just doing a quick video in the car, then the rest of the video will be on the haulbacks. I'm off to Urban now to film some of my haulbacks as long as they're not in shed. Uh, just an update, because a couple of people have asked. So since I aim to please, I'm off to go do a little video for you. Um, basically this weekend for me was about spending time with my family. Uh, which uh, Saturday and Sunday I've done this today's Monday so this is my last day off so I'm spending some time with family I'm off to see my scaly family now and then shoot a quick video and then off back to my human family so I just wanted to really touch base on these t-shirts because uh, I've had quite a large amount of people register interest basically a lot of people have says um, I'll grab one off you at Donnie show now because I'm displaying all my snakes at Donny, Donny um, IHS Reptile Show, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take too many t-shirts. I'll, I'll probably have maybe 25 or something, but I won't take too many because I don't want to risk having to bring a shed load of them home. So if you're one of these people that want to grab a t-shirt at Donny, if you want to, if you want to guarantee yourself one, you can either pay me up front and I'll have whatever size you require on the day and I will not let you down. Or if you want to pay a deposit and then pay the difference when you meet me, because obviously not a lot of you have met me in person, so you you may not want to just send the 20 quid. You may just want to pay, let's say, a five pound deposit. Now, if you do that, you're guaranteed to get whatever size you ask for. Um, I'll write each person's name on the t-shirt so there's no confusion and there's no, there's no way we'll accidentally sell your t-shirt before you arrive. But if you're just one of these people that just want to risk it, that's fine. Uh, just know that I'm only going to take a limited amount to Donny because if I don't shift them all, I don't want to be lugging, you know, a large amount of them back home. Anyway, so that's just the point on the t-shirts. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch the last video, uh, watch the end of the, ending of the video. Um, it's just some urban constrictor t-shirts I've got. A lot of people's asked for them. So I've had some, uh, a bunch of extra ones made. Uh, so you guys can buy them and I'm not really making money on them. This isn't me trying to uh, Make a bit of extra cash for the messing about. I'm probably breaking even or making about a whopping one pound So if you want one get in contact right and then um, so the rest of the video Is gonna be in urban and I'll film some haulbacks I'm looking forward to showing you my uh, Orange Dream Yellow Belly Disco Inferno because she looks phenomenal. Her sister's still a cow and she's really not eating very well. She maybe eats about one, once a month. She always strikes. She seems to be a very insecure snake now. Uh, she is a little bit bitey. She's a little bit nippy. So she's taking a bit of time uh, to, to, to basically settle down and start trusting me. But I'll progress on. Um, so I'll, I'll once she starts going, I'll play catch up, and also I may have a clutch of eggs. There, there is a clutch due today, so I may film that. So I'm getting close to over now. So I'm going to end the, end the video, and I'll film the rest when I'm in there. Cheers. The Batmobile's parked. Costa in hand. Urban constrictors. Here we go. It's so quiet because it's bank holiday weekend. There's nobody here. Front doors, air conditioning duct. Keep on my snakes. Sweet. Hi guys. So I'm in the lab, and I promised a bit of an updated video now unfortunately a lot of my snakes are in shed or they're not looking their absolute best but i'm still gonna show the snakes because i promised people i would so first off is two ghi females what i produced these are amongst my whole back in my whole back racks now they are 50 percent possible heck clown i think this one will prove out to be heck clown and this one maybe won't the reason i've opted for this one is it's a bit brighter it's a bit more golden but I, really, I prefer the look of this snake. It's really dark, really intense. Gorgeous snakes. They're growing really well. You can see they're pretty large now. You'll remember them as little worms on a, on a previous video. Now, as people that follow this channel will see, I've got a new background. Uh, this is one I typically take photos on. I want you to let me know, <coughs> excuse me. I want you to let me know if you prefer this background or the white background. Now, what I have uh, realized in this is this actually this background uh, makes the colours look uh, a little bit duller because uh, I've just done some tests. My highball clown that I'm gonna show, she's gonna look a little bit more of like a grey brown than an orangey brown, which is which is a real shame. But I'll try and 
play with the colours in post production and make make it um, make it more true to her colours because I want to show in her best possible light. She's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, so back to these two, two GHRs growing really really well. Uh, first diet was mice, and then they now moved on to mullet as you can see. I'm pushing, you can see the whites of my thumb. I'm pushing there. These are not fat flabby snakes. These are good solid snakes <clears throat> fed on multis. Um, <clears throat> excuse me guys, sorry about that. I've got so much stuck in my throat. So yeah, so they're doing really, really well. Really nice snakes. And I'm going to really enjoy seeing which one proves out. Because obviously on the first clutch they ever um, uh, have, it doesn't mean I'll hit a clown. So... Maybe one will be hurt, maybe both will be hurt. We'll see, but it is going to be fun having that uh, to, to, to play around with. So I'll just grab another snake. So this snake I didn't hatch, but um, I bought from a good friend of mine, Dean and Ronnie. They did um, uh, a shared... A shared um, a shared breeding um, and it hatches. Now, a couple of people did say, why have you bought a blade clown? Because it won't necessarily project me forward because I've got higher end clowns, if you, if you want to say. The reason being is this, this snake is phenomenal. She is, excuse me guys, I'm just gonna have a drink, sorry. My Costa is calling me and I've got something stuck in my throat. So this guy is, uh, this girl is absolutely stunning. She's close to perfect. I'm gonna work on create, creating, uh, making that gap disappear. Now, I, I read on Facebook and I see posts about people all being about quality and then they go out and buy, um, well, not very quality snakes. Below standard or below below average snakes but they bang on about being all about the quality now i bought this snake to further the quality in the snakes i hatch and produce she's stunning color absolutely stunning she's golden she is well i haven't seen a blade clown as nice as this yes there will be better ones i'm not saying i've got the best i'm, I'm not i'm not trying to make myself out to be bigger or better than anybody else but what i'm saying is for what I've seen, she is the best I've ever seen. So I had to have her. Um, and I look forward to seeing what I do with this snake because I'm gonna bring this quality to the next level and try and take it to the next level and the next level. And that's what I'm about. Trying to, I, I have a fantastic following and I, I really do thank you all for all the support and stuff you give me. And so many people recognize what I'm trying to do here. Um, I believe in, if you're gonna create a shop like my shop, I say my shop is the John Lewis of the marine and reptile world. It's not the uh, Primark or anything like that. And there's nothing wrong with Primark, but what I'm saying is they're a discount shop. You buy clothes from there, the fault of it's a couple of months later, but you accept that because you've paid a little money for them. Now, my shop is about trying to bring the best to market. And Urban Constrictors is exactly the same. I, I, I want to be known to, to be quality, and this snake's going to help me do that. So... There's my banana blade clown. Sorry, blade clown, not banana. <laughs> not banana. What I was doing then was looking at the next snake to see what I was bringing out next. And I decided to pick my banana clown that I hatched. Is she the best quality? No, she isn't. So here's the absolute flip. So, the, so here's me being totally real, being totally honest, and here's me not making out all my snakes are the best. She is not the best banana clown I hatched. Um, I hatched three that was far superior to her. But the reason I kept her is because she's a female. Now, I'm fortunate enough to have some real quality males that will basically bring the quality in. So I don't have to have the best, although I try, but I don't have to have the best of the best at that exact time because it's same with dog breeding you put a really phenomenal male stud dog to a slightly less phenomenal female and one or two of the pups will be phenomenal phenomenal and they're the ones you'll keep so this is me being real this isn't the best banana clown but it's a female so that's why i kept her 
Uh, it's the only female banana farmer hatched and she's going to be forever in my collection or for a very, very long time. Uh, I also own a mum who's a banana head clown. But yes, yeah, so she's beautiful. Doing really well. Uh, she's not eating quite as well as the others, but she's she's growing as quick as I need her to. So there's my banana clown, female. So to stay on the clowns, because you know I'm all about the clowns, this is a female that does look better on the white background. I'll just see if it makes any difference if I take her away and bring her back. So you can see them orange, coppery colours. Um, she's deep in shed, but I hope that's focusing. But she's phenomenal. I'm going to put this piece of paper back, just one sec. If I can. So the clarity, I find, is a bit better with this background, but the colours are a little bit out. So we'll run with it for now. As you can see, she's growing really, really well. Um, she is deep in shed. Let's just see if we can home in on that eye to show how deep in shed she is. She's really deep in shed. But she is a phenomenal snake. Um, got a little bit, a tiny bit of stuck shed there. But yeah, she's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous snake. Uh, her colours are phenomenal, as you can see on that multi diet. She's nice and strong, nice and firm lots of muscles you can just see the ripple in the skin she's not fat she's not a fat snake she's well conditioned she's growing beautifully her colors are phenomenal all these gorgeous orange colors and then you get that purple which you can't obviously see because she's deep in shed and this background's not helping let me know which one you, which background you like better the white the white or the gray because I'll stick with what you guys like best. Uh, I'm here to, to make the uh, I, I'm, I try to make the videos as enjoyable as I can for you guys. Uh, I know I'm a bit sketchy, but we're running with the rawness for now. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so there's my hybrid clown, female, and hopefully I'll hatch uh, this plus a few extra genes this, this season. Now. Here is, oh, your little get. I can't believe he just bit me. He's never bit me once. Um, here is my cinnamon banana clown. Uh, so all the snakes so far that I've shown you, I hatched them all apart from the uh, blade clown. So I hatched this guy as well. I'm really surprised he, he bit me actually because, well, he didn't bite me. He struck, made me jump. But yeah, he's gorgeous. Um, he shed about a week and a half ago, so he's not looking... As, as sharp as they do right after shed. Um, now, like I've, I've talked about in a past video, he's got this like electric bluey purple line and then more of a, a rich orange uh, compared to the yellows. And then he's got these, as Justin Kvelka would say, these orphaned spots. Um, some are purple, some are more of like a yellowy orange, which are slowly fading out. Beautiful snake, really beautiful snake. But now what, what the plan is, is, I want to add leopard and spot nose, but particularly leopard to this because I think it's going to sharpen this pattern, but I think it's going to pull that colour right out. And then spot nose, uh, a little bit later down the line, it's going to intensify that colour more. Uh, what Justin's done with the spot nose, it, it, it's kind of apparent that it, it really enhances the colours in most parts, not always, but in most breedings, um, in most hatchlings it's part of, it really enhances the colours. So now I want to... I want to get leopard and spot nose into this to pull them colours right out to intensify this snake. Now, because this um, because this snake looks a little bit ghost ghosted, I'm I'm pretty eager for him to potentially be paired with the hypo clown to make some um, obviously clown uh, hypo combos. Excuse me, guys, uh, and see where that takes me because this plus hyper i think it's gonna make a, a phenomenal looking snake but i've got some great plans for this guy now he's growing really well i haven't fed him as heavy as some of the females one once a week on a, on a mouse is just doing him fine and um, he'll be ready for november he'll be easily ready for november so i'm looking forward to seeing what yet another one of my hatchlings can do Right, so to move away from clowns, I might, I will probably move back onto clowns, but to move away, we've got this little abomination. She is my 
what I think to be an Orange Dream Disco Yellow Belly, sorry, an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Disco Inferno. She is the sister to, one second. So this girl, oops, so this girl, so you can see she's not feeding quite as well as this one and she's really the arsy, I'm gonna face away from me because she will bite me. She's doing well, no, she's not doing well, she's doing fine, she's doing okay, she's absolutely stunning. But this bloody phone, iPhone 10 in it, doesn't, it's not self uh, focusing. Um, she's she's absolutely stunning, she really is stunning. But she's just, she just doesn't like eating. I've tried on all sorts, I'll, I'll get her there, I always do, but some snakes just take a little bit longer than others. She's healthy. She's going to the toilet fine, she's doing everything she needs to be doing, but she just doesn't eat quite as regularly as I'd like. But she's, she, you know, slowly getting there. But what a stunning snake. Even if she never goes on to breed, I'll still keep her, because every time you open her drawer and see just that, you just, you can't get bored looking at that. She's just absolutely stunning. So we'll move on to her sister. So her sister, as you can see, <laughs> eats absolute she just doesn't turn a meal down this girl she is one of my largest haulbacks um i don't plow her with food uh, it's not like i'm i'm training you know train as in a train on a on a, uh, a carriage train not a train as in training somebody or something i'm not plowing food into her like a train one after the other after the other she just once a week has one or two uh mice or multis and she's doing really well, real solid, real, real beautiful snake. Uh, really looking forward to seeing her wrapping around a clutch of eggs. So yeah, I believe this. I believe these two are world first. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really chase the world's first. I don't need to. Um, I'm just here to make beautiful snakes, and I look forward to bringing some of these to market. So yeah, so that was my Orange Dream Disco Inferno and my Orange Dream Yellow Belly Disco Inferno. Now, I, I didn't plan on showing this snake, you've all seen it before, but um, this is my dream bee yellow belly, orange dream spider yellow belly. Now she's absolutely stunning, she's, she's better than her mum, her uncles, her dad, she's absolutely stunning. Now I did buy my orange dream uh, from, I have, sorry, bought my orange dreams from Ozzyvoids and Justin Kabalka. Now, her her lineage if that's how you pronounce it when, when when you go back and look at her family tree her her line came from Oz now he has a high intensity orange dream and I do wonder and I'm not saying it is and I'll never mark it up as that unless I prove it out but I do wonder if she is part of the high intensity orange dream because she is she cannot be a super yet she is absolutely stunning now I'll grab a super, but I do believe he's in shed. But I'm just gonna grab a super just to compare. Yeah, of course, he's in shed. But, <sighs> sorry. So here's a super, orange dream, the yellow belly disco. Um, so I'll put her away, but look at her colors. She's just smoking. And no, she's not for sale, so don't ask. Uh, quite a few people do ask. Is in shed, deep, deep in shed, unfortunately. But it's just amazing. It is gorgeous. You see the uh, the disco stamp on the head, um, and you can still see the orange dream stamp on the head. But yeah, this is my super orange dream, yellow belly disco. Oh, that's what I believe him, him to be. Now. Is more orange, much more orange than these on this video. Uh, I'm sorry about the colours are out. It's kind of putting a bit of a downer on it for me because you'll be guys are looking at this thinking, oh that's nice, but it's not, it's smoking. He is absolutely phenomenal. But you know, you just can't see it with this background unfortunately. So yeah, I'll uh I'll move on to the next one. Uh but he is he is stunning. Uh, who shall I show next? Let's have a look. Uh, oh God, do you know <laughs> this isn't a haulback. Um, this snake's sold, but the guy who paid a two hundred pound deposit seems to have dropped off face of earth. I'm trying to locate him. I sent him a bunch of messages, but 
can't get hold of him. So, uh, Bumblebee Clown, again, Deacon Shared, real, real shame. This guy's eating pretty well. Um, this nice snake, uh, pretty, pretty solid to have a spider in him. But yeah, he's in Shed, just like the others. So, I'll move on to the next one. I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll whisk, whisk through and see if I can find any that's not in Shed. Uh, ah, aha. So, we found one. Yay, not in shed. Look how, oops, sorry guys, I just knocked the uh, camera stand. Look how crisp he looks. Now I'm just going to take a drink. I've got the aircon turned off so it doesn't interrupt the video. I'm drinking a hot Costa. I'm sweating bullets. It's, it's 24 degrees outside, which for the UK that is extremely warm. Anyway, look how stunning she is. So this female is a fire pied. Um... 100% het lavender albino or albino if you're American so um, I bought this uh, female just to go with my dreamsicle project I only dreamsicle and some other bits to do with dreamsicle so there's a female growing up to go with that boy later so absolutely stunning and while he's out I'll, uh, while she's out sorry Here's a pastel pied, that's also 100% het, lavender, albino. You can see the crispness now, you can see what I was talking about with the uh, snakes that were in shed. You can see just how, how detailed these are, um, whereas the other ones unfortunately. Um, I will try and uh, do a video when they're not in shed. So I'm going to have to quickly wrap this one up because it gets to 18 minutes and I'm obviously attaching other little videos onto it so it's going to be quite a long one but so here's part of my dreamsicle project now i'll leave some of the others for a later video i'm just going to grab one adult male because just to show now this guy is my super fly leopard clown that i bought from justin cabalca he's one of the only few in the world I believe there's only two. Um, just now one over the other. There may be more now. But yeah, you can see, even in adulthood, he is held on to that colour. He is stunning. And once again, thank you, Justin, for letting me purchase this animal. I absolutely love this snake. Just the detail. And for those, if, if you didn't catch one of my previous videos, my most successful video, actually, it got over 5,000 views. So thanks for that, guys. But I'm just going to slow him down because he is one for moving. Just a focus in that head. If it ever will. Bloody iPhone 10. Alright, I'm gonna have to try and do this one handed. Right, so to focus in on that head, it looks like I said in the past video, like it's made out of stone. Look at all the detail. It is just stunning. His colours are phenomenal. For an adult ball python, now we all know these do fade with time. Look at the colours on that. This guy is smoking, and for the few people that's been here, when they see him, they're just like, my God, look at him. So, yeah, he's he's now, um, oh, no, he's not a father yet. He's he's well on his way of becoming a father, which is nice. Sorry, do you know, I'm going to smash this one to bits. Bloody thing. Why won't it focus? So, just going to try and focus in on that head. Anyway, right, so he's going to be the last one I showed today. I'll do more uh, collection, uh, haul back uh, videos because I do have plenty more to show. So for now, I hope everyone's having a phenomenal season. Thanks for all your support, guys. If you want a t shirt, get in contact, prepare to avoid disappointment. And I love it for all the people who are wearing them at Donny. You'll get a little secret bonus later down the line. So, excuse me, I burped when I talk to them. <laughs> I'm just trying to sink that Costa. So for now, guys. This is Paul Urban Constrictors and I am out.